I'm Robin Ross from Entertainment Weekly. I'm Andrea Laventhal from People, and it's hometown dates. Already. Woo! We get to go home with the ladies and meet the parents who let their daughters go on reality TV to meet a husband. So Ben gets to meet uh, Amanda's kids, uh, Charlie and Kenzing Kingsley. This is hey Kinsley. Hey, Kinsley, I'm Ben. But her kids played hard to get better than Amanda did. Ooh, burr. The best moment was yeah. when they were in the car, mm -hmm. and we've all been in a car with kids. That's like where you hit sort of that moment mm -hmm. of get me home. If I were Ben, I would have like opened the car door while it was still going <laughs> and like stopped, dropped, and rolled and been like, I can't do this. But he waited until the rose ceremony and he sent Amanda home. And yeah. Obviously, she was very sad, sure. but because of that tiny baby voice, it still came out sweet. She was like, I'm really sad that you did this after and maybe then. I was like, oh my God, is she mad? Because you can't tell because she sounds so sweet. I can't I'm sorry, I can't it. even hear yeah. you because I don't it's get, so I don't soft. get that, that, that octave. Next, we went to Portland yep. with Lauren B. Yep. Who's the front runner. They have, they have serious chemistry. Yeah. So. I mean, I think the biggest thing to come out of this date was the fact that she wanted to say I love you and didn't. Ooh. I know, <laughs> big shocker. When I go home this week without telling Ben that I'm in love with him, I would be completely devastated. I love how the previews were like, every woman is in love with him, but not yeah. one of them said it this week. No, it was like they all got the memo that was like, you want to say it, but you can't. So her date was fine. It was, it was fine. great. I mean, it's how their relationship has been all season where you know he really likes her. Oh, for sure. And there's almost like this made up drama because there isn't any real drama. And the only drama yeah. I found was in his lack of wardrobe decision. Yeah, you you really don't like that jacket. That anymore. blazer was not feeling it. Like, let's go back to the motorcycle jacket, Ben. Most dramatic blazer ever. <laughs> so then he jetted off to Ohio yes. to see Kayla. You know how I feel about Kayla, which is I have no feelings for Kayla because <laughs> I just, I don't think there's a lot of there there. However, right, he made a comment that they have the deepest relationship I, of all four, and oh. that was kind of shocking to me. Where, where is this depth? I, in her hair, maybe, because Ooh, she's got great, voluminous. yeah, voluminous hair. When she was talking about him to her mom, the way she, like, gets all starry-eyed, sure. I picture, like, a Snapchat filter with, like, hearts coming out of her, like, head when she talks about him. It's just like a little teenage girl. And then the last stop on the Hometown Date Express was Dallas. Yes. Drama in Dallas with JoJo. So good. So good. we start the date where she's reading a letter that she thinks is from Ben. With I'm, a thing of roses. With a thing with of the roses. roses. She realized it was from her ex-boyfriend. Wait, whose name is Chad, which I was dying. When was the last time you heard the name? It's like, that is an 80s movie villain's name. Yeah. I love you, Chad. I'm so into that. His name is Chad. I know. Rose for Chad. Rose for Chad. They go to her family and yeah. her brothers, who are insanely close with her. They brought up a very valid point, which is, you have been on two solo dates with this man, and you're like, I think I love him and I'd get engaged to him. Fair. That's a fair point. Listen, it sounds crazy, but you know, I just, it's a feeling that I get when I'm with him. I've been on multiple dates with him, just some of them were with his other girlfriends. So now we're down to three because remember, a man's in her tiny voice went bye bye. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Who's going to be the final two? I'm torn. I. I really want JoJo to make it to the final two. I really like her. I think it has to be Lauren with her because they've just been at a little bit of a different level from the yeah. beginning. Like, you can just tell he's had a thing for her. I can't believe you're cutting your girl Kayla. I know. I was this relationship. And I was the one from their first one-on-one -on -one date that was like, I'm team Kayla. And she's fine, but I, I think it's going to be Lauren. I actually agree with you. I think it's going to be a Lauren JoJo showdown, mm -hmm. and I'm ready for it. Thank you so much for watching the most dramatic Bachelor recap ever. For more scoop, you can head to EW.com and People.com.